Welcome back. This weekend, the H Town Sneaker Summit returns to the city. They open up shop at the NRG Center tomorrow for their 13th annual event. Brian Angel is here this morning with the details you need to know to go check it out. Brian, good morning. Hi, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Tell us a little bit about the summit. Well, the uh, Sneaker Summit started in 2004 as a gathering of sneaker enthusiasts, a place to kind of uh, put a face to a name. You know, we all knew each other online through social media and whatnot. Right. And we kind of wanted to meet up and see what each other had on their feet or on their collection. <laughs> okay. It started in an internet cafe and it grew to a sports bar, to a nightclub, to a concert venue in 2011. We were the first ever event of our kind in a professional sports venue, the Toyota Center. Okay. And the next year we moved over to NRG Park where we are now in an 80,000 square foot exhibit hall with almost 8,000 people coming through the doors the day of show. That's incredible. You know, I didn't know there was such a thing as sneaker enthusiasts. Yeah, I mean, from all walks of life. So uh, a lot of people find their passion for sneakers through different avenues, be it fashion or design, art, skateboarding, breakdancing, sure. music. Uh, and we just offer a fun and safe place for all those people to gather, buy, sell, trade, discuss, browse right. uh, sneakers, and kind of um, just appreciate, educate, and elevate sneaker culture and the I sneaker like it. community. So now you designed one of these sneakers, yes, this I one, did. right? The yes. Star Wars one. Yes. Can we zoom in on this? Is that that is a Van Skate High. So that is a classic uh, Van skateboarding silhouette. They right. offered this year on their website. Uh, uh, you were able to customize your own shoes with the Star Wars motif. So I wanted to have something to wear when the new movie comes out later this month. Everyone's oh, talking I about see. that. I was a little ahead of the curve there. Yeah. But I'm very uh, happy with those. They have Yodas and stuff on them. How, how am I doing with the modeling? Very good. Am I doing Looks a good great. job? Sophia approves of the modeling job. Yeah. What size is this? This definitely 11. would not fit me. Okay, nope, yes. wouldn't fit me. All right, um, let's go on to the next one. Next we have the Adidas Yeezy Boost. This just got Footwear News uh, Shoe of the Year Award uh, that was given out in New York this week. Mm -hmm. um, so it was big news when Kanye West signed to Adidas, and he kind of shocked the world by coming out with a more fashionable shoe rather right. than something that was uh, sports-oriented. Yeezy is quite the uh, fashionista, yes. I will say. So All right, so that this is, is the easy. That is the shoe of the year. Uh, next up, we have a retro uh, segment wouldn't be complete without a retro Michael Jordan shoe. Okay, these, let's lift it up, Brian. These were actually designed by uh, Supreme New York, which is a skateboarding store in New York. Okay. Uh, one of the very rare collaborations from Jordan brand. They very rarely let anyone else design a shoe for Michael Jordan. Uh, other notable designers this year on Jordan brand was the recording artist Drake. Nice, and yep. it has this cool little contraption, plastic. Yeah, lace, here. the lace lock. I need to called. start rocking these at work. All right, so next, what we got next? Next we have a Supra shoe. This is more of a lifestyle shoe. You know, you see the spikes on there for the more oh. fashionista right uh, on the side. individual. Those are designed by uh, Steve Aoki. He is an electronic music DJ, very yes, popular. Very popular. Um, I don't think these are out yet. They're actually a sample that just so happened to be in my size. I don't know if I'll. <laughs> <laughs> How convenient, yeah. Ryan. How convenient. Yes. So, um, so these were designed by Steve Aoki. Oh, yeah, look, it has Steve Aoki's little kind of yeah. cartoon picture here. Okay. That's and right. what is the last one? Is the last Fila, one, right? um, we, we have a couple more on the ground there, but this Great is you. Fila. This is a retro basketball shoe. I believe it's called the Bubble. So, you know, we kind of have something for every everyone, mm -hmm. skateboarding, fashionistas, retro guys, okay. uh, more fashionable guys, and then another retro guy here. On the bottom, I'll just go through them real quick. We, we can't go through 2015 without mentioning the brand of the year, which is Under Armour. Uh, Steph Curry. They're down here, okay. Steph Curry put on a record shattering performance in the NBA Finals last year in these shoes. Um, and then we also have something for the ladies. 
On the other side, the Melody, Asani, Reebok Pump, those are worn by uh, females like Gwen Stefani and Khloe Kardashian. And then it goes to the sneaker boot by Burton and New Balance, all the way into the lifestyle accessories, stance socks, Rasta Clot bracelets, and our very own shoe cleaner Lots by Prep Protect. Lots of information Protect. here. Brian, yes. thank you so much. Okay, we're going to post this all on click2houston.com for you. We'll be back after the break. Thank you.